Welcome to my Days of Our Lives official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Stefan learns of EJ's helpful escape plan and also comes face to face with Harris at home, Sloane suggests to Eric they the christening event at the cantina, as originally planned. She does not want Roman to feel slighted. Eric notes how agitated Nicole is to host it, and besides, Roman is fine with it. When Sloane persists, Eric prodigies if she just wants to keep Nicole out of it. They argue until Brady comes by, egging Sloane to storm out. In the extension, John confronts Steve about lying to him all these times about what happened in Arya. He see and believe that Constantine, of all people, told him the verity that he killed a youthful woman. Lowered, Steve points out that Constantine doesn't know the whole verity any further than they do. John does know that Katharina was a real person and that he killed her. Watch days on Peacock $5.99 by now returning to Ava's apartment, Harris tells her Stefan is nowhere to be set up. Ava prodigies if he thinks Stefan had commodity to do with Clyde's escape. Harris points out he did go to great lengths to cover his woman. Ava advises Harris not to run each over city like an action idol. She leans in close and says she's taking him to bed, no arguments. Harris surely will end argue. Further Gray's deconstruction's long overdue return at the Demera manse, E.J. tells Stefan of Harris' visit. Since he failed to neutralize Clyde, E.J. infers that he's no longer of use to the good operative. Also, Harris demands justice is served for Stefan shooting him. Panicked, Stefan reminds E.J. of their deal. E.J. assures him he LL help him. In fact, he's secured Stefan's new identity with transport to North Korea hereafter. Stefan smothers. This isn't what he agreed to. E.J. glibly points out his other options are not anymore. Stefan would at least like to say farewell to Gabby before he leaves. E.J. reminds him of Clyde's reach at Statesville, which would leave him dead. E.J. happily offers to tell Gabby that Stefan is starting over without her. Stefan asks him to tell her he loves her. E.J. passes. Daisy J holding an envelope talking smugly to Stefan in the Demera living room further 9-11's most surprising crossover Sloan finds Leo passed out on a table in the square. She flicks him awake, whereupon he details imbibing two important Irish whiskey and green beer at the cantina on ST. Patrick's Day. Sloan snarks about him drinking on her song. Speaking of, he d like further of that, so she cuts him a check. When Leo gushes about the suit he bought for Jude's christening, Sloan orders him to return it because he wouldn't be attending. With Brady, Eric blames Sloan's jest. On Jude, not sleeping well. He also asks Brady to be Jude's godfather. Brady is recognized, but declines. He doesn't suppose he should be associated with the word father, considering Rachel wants nothing to do with him and Tate's in a halfway house. Eric knows he'd do anything for his kitties and implores him to review. Succumbing, Brady accepts. Further Nicole's unasked, Ava slaps Stefan in Day's promo at the extension, Marlena insists John is an awful man, but John calls himself a killing machine. He would end live like this presently, so he ll turn himself into the authorities. Steve and Marlena kick, with Marlena telling John what a good man he's now. John retorts he just helped break Clyde out of captivity. At the manse, Stefan implores EJ to use his coffers ASD.A to help him. EJ would end risk losing his job and, thus, his power. Stefan believes Stefano is flipping in his grave over one son so callously betraying another. EJ counters that if Stefano were rattled by this situation, it would be because one of his sons has proven to be an absolute failure. A stain on his heritage. Stefano would be proud of EJ for making sure that stain is banished. EJ suggests Stefan get back to the coverts before someone sees him. Bond passage, family. Further new additions to suits L.A. Sitting on a settee, Ava caresses Harris's face and gapes hypercritically at him. In her bedroom, Ava detects how warm Harris is. She worries he has a fever, but he quips he's just hot for her. They passionately kiss. In the square, Leo tells Sloane that Eric invited him to the christening. Plus, he and Jude have a special bond. 
He's his puck godfather. Growing serious, Leo details all the genuine feelings he's educated since Jude's birth. He doesn't suppose it's too important to ask he get a ringside seat at one of the most important moments in his life. Yes, Sloan says, it is. Hanging to expose her, Leo says he LLC her there. Further, Paul Telfer explains Xander to Ashley Puzimus John and Steve explain the situation girding the captivity break to an understanding Marlena. John says he needs to apologize to Constantine. Not just for the pain he caused, but for the allegations he's made against him. Steve points out he's still conning Maggie, but John says he's a grieving father, however, he'd kill that person without vacillation if anyone had done to Belle what he did to Katharina. Steve apologizes for not telling John what happened, but he blocked it out for a long time and didn't know how he'd reply. John growls that Steve knew exactly how he'd reply. Marlena makes John promise he would end turn himself in. When he does, she tearfully tells him she loves him. Further how the Demaros could band together at Eric's, Brady tells his reflective family that unless Holly comes clean about her medicine use, Tate will keep paying for a crime he didn't commit. Eric suggests Holly is just confused, but Brady accuses her of putting her selfish need for maternal blessing ahead of his sprat's freedom. Eric admits he thinks Holly is hiding commodity and offers to talk to her again. In bed, Harris and Ava lounge in the afterglow. Harris tells her he missed her. Ava missed him too. She flashes to having coitus with Stefan and gets up for Harris pain meds. When she goes to the kitchen, Stefan knocks on the door. Ava tries to get him to leave, but Harris comes out. Well, what do you know? My would-be homicide. John and Steve's disastrous slip-up lands them in hot water with no way out days of our lives allude that John Black and Steve Johnson made a terrible mistake in agreeing to help Ava Vitali with Clyde Weston's captivity break. Not only did the felonious take off without helping them find Trip Johnson and Wendy Shin, but the entire thing could blow up in everyone's face. What happens coming? Days of Our Lives' Ray Fernandez will get to the bottom of effects Days spoilers indicate that Ray Fernandez will end let this go. Clyde is end only a medicine ringleader, but he's been a nasty miscreant for times. He belongs behind bars, and the fact that he escaped under Rafe's eye, not to mention planting Officer Goldman into his police department, will have Hernandez more determined than ever to find out how Clyde sprung out of captivity, to bring the villain to justice. Days of our lives John and Steve's disastrous slip-up lands them in hot water with no way out Steve and John are inconceivable super spies, but they're getting gravel as they grow aged. After all, it took a long while for them to notice the hint Wendy planted in the videotape by using sign language. This means they likely slipped up and left some kind of indication before. What will be to Black Patch when it's revealed that they helped Clyde spring out of captivity? D.O.L., the shame of it all this is the land of daytime drama, so while they should go to captivity for this, they probably will hint. John and Steve are major days characters, so indeed if they do head to jail, it will end be for times. Still, the shame both men will feel once the verity comes out will be awful, especially for Steve. After all, Clyde only lately killed his bastard, Abigail DeMera and how will his family Jack Devereaux feel when he finds out? How will Chad DeMera reply? Will it be video cameras or commodity differently that links John and Steve to Clyde's captivity release? Comment below. Tune into the popular Peacock Ava gets a shock about Stefan Days of Our Lives force Ava to face the fact that the man she accidentally slept with shot the man she stopped sleeping with in order to cover him also slept with again. But that it also had nothing to do with her. Triadic trouble Ava loved Harris she loved him so much that she broke up with him, so he wouldn't know that Clyde had forced her and Stefan to vend medicines for him. Also, Ava slept with Stefan because he was, well, because he was there. Both agreed it didn't mean anything. Also Stefan shot Harris. Ava was so worried that she rushed back to Harris' side and into his bed. How will Ava reply when she learns that Stefan was the bone? Who nearly killed Harris? How will Harris reply when he learns Ava slept with his wannabe homicide? Free to be you and me Sarah kept averring that Xander did and shoot Harris. Eventually, enough people believe her that her baby daddy is released on bail.